Hi, thanks for stopping by and checking out one of our videos. Real quick, you can find much more training for a low, low price at softwarevideo.com. We've been training people since 1994. We have online memberships for as low as a startup fee is 99 cents for seven days or just $14.95 per month for unlimited training and access 24-7. Or you can buy it on DVDs. You can see what our new releases are. You can find us by software title, by subject, by vendor, and up here at the top through our film strip you can go by our little characters here, graphic design illustrator and so forth. I want to scroll down here. Here's our memberships. Very affordable. They make great gifts. So check it out and enjoy this uh, free lesson on this uh, topic. Creating and using links in our OneNote so we can move between pages and notebooks. Well, I created under my fun time family a section called links and then I have these pages and the first page is using links. So you can see I just made this list, I just typed these words and OneNote has these little dotted lines but you see it looks like a link but what the dotted lines means when I go to that page there's nothing on it. So if I go back to using links page and you can see that's a solid line and if I go to Word you can see that there's content on that page. So instead of going back and forth over here I have put these links in here. Well there's no link here so let's see how we do that. I just highlight it and I go to link and I can pick any page that I want out of here. I can just randomly pick it. But I'm going to go down here and pick since I'm highlighting Excel, I'm going to pick Excel and select OK. Well, now you can see that I've made a link and it's dotted because there's no text in there. So if I wanted to go ahead and insert a picture, I can. And then I can go ahead and go back to my using links. And now you can see it's a solid line, meaning that there's content there. Okay, so what I want to do too, if I want to go to Excel and be able to go back to using links, all I have to do is highlight it, link, and I can go back to using links and select OK. So all I have to do is select that and it goes back to my list. So if I want to go to Excel, look at Excel, I can go back to links. It's that easy. So let's go ahead and go to OneNote, which would be over here, and we're going to insert the date, and I'm going to go ahead and type in using links, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and go back to link, scroll down, and I'm going to find it here. So now I can go back. So I go to OneNote, I can go back, and this is the way you can go back and forth, just like a website. So you could really get into detail and really create some awesome notes using OneNote. So I'll do one more for you. So see, I could type in something here and call it demo test. But I don't really have a demo test page because you'd like to name it what it is. But Or I could just put it wherever I want and I could go to link and let's say that I wanted it to go to um, let's just pick something here. Say I wanted it to go to a task and I click on that and it takes me to that page and nothing's in it and so it would be hard to get back so since I know what this is I'm going to insert a picture and then I'm just going to type in using links and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to link and I know where that page is it's right here using links okay 
So now I can go back to that page. So I can go to any other page and I can go back to my list. So that's how you use links.